good afternoon. It's 1 11 p.m. Currently getting ready for Hollywood Studios. Spraying my hair so my curls, you know, last. And trying the half up, half down thing. I'm gonna get a claw clip with ribbon in it for it. But we're gonna try that little hairstyle trick. I don't know if it's gonna work with my hair because my hair's short. It'll be cute in that piece. We'll just pin it like that. I don't know, we're gonna see. I have bobby pins to kind of pin. I have like a calic in the back. And so like things don't always lay flat right there. So we bobby pinning it. Okay. I think I'm gonna unplug my curling iron. <laughs> curling iron is unplugged. Okay. Now let's that piece could actually be used to be curved. But the bright side is it will still be hot. So you just unplugged it. We're going to Hollywood Studios this afternoon. Well, yeah, afternoon. And then tonight we are going to Boathouse in Disney Springs for a friend's birthday dinner. Um, so I'm trying to get my hair. I'm like, I don't, realistically, I don't want to do my hair once. I can also tell my hair is ready to get done um, because it's not wanting to copyright. So we're going to start with foundation. This is, well, this is a tinted moisturizer. We do tinted moisturizer first. This is SPF in it. Oh, I never did an update of how my skin looked after the facial. Looks good. Obviously, there's a little red where there were some extractions done. But you know, that's the, that's the name of this game. Okay, I'm gonna leave it a little bit just to get myself in frame. We are currently pop, propped up on the counter. I'm also realizing I did not bring earrings because <laughs> I got the facial this morning, so I didn't put on earrings. Putting it down into the neck, especially because I'm wearing a turtleneck. Oh, that is important. I always do half at first, then hair. And then some people are like, why does everything look funny or not look right? It's because my face is not that. So that's what we are doing. Okay, now we're going to go in with the light reflecting foundation from NARS. This actually adds color to my face. Whereas I feel like the tinted moisturizer just like evens out the skin tone. Okay. Back in. Especially on that forehead where there is a big pimple. This also always feels like unnatural to be doing a fa full face of makeup after a day where I got a facial. Cause I'm just like, whoopsies. But you know, oh. I think maybe it's the best because the facial brings out all the stuff in my skin. So, good. No, we're gonna go in with powder. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lucerne Powder in vanilla. I probably need to get another one soon. Okay, so it's December. It's my first in March. It's also the month of Christmas. And so I did ask for Ulta gift cards from some relatives. So we're gonna wait, even though I went to Ulta this morning, that was maybe a little too much powder on my face. I will be sneezing later, I know that much. But we do want it to last the whole day, so you know what? The more powder, the better. It's okay with these. Also, those turtle nuggets definitely a little bit more on the sheer side, but that's okay. I won't be able to tell for all time. Especially when I stand up, it's just one eye. If you lay down, you can tell. Neutrally gold than my eyeshadow, especially because there is a friend's birthday dinner tonight. I want to look nice for that. I don't want to like redo my makeup fully, so we're going to stick to a more neutral. I do have face gems that I could add a little bit of fun sparkle to. Also, I can't wait for next Saturday where I get my hair done, and it's been a little bit. I got it done right before school started in like August, no, end of July. So we are a little overdue for my hair. 
a partial, but maybe the partial's not gonna be not gonna really do it. Oh well. That is good. Now, for the benefit bronzer. I gotta do so many of these and this is my tried and true. No, no. I'm also a person that I don't like contour. Contour does not look good on me. I think anything that's too cool tone is realistically not my friend. Warm tones are where it's at for me. Now I look a little crazy with a little heavy hand of bronzer, but it's okay. Because we're gonna blend it out back with the powder brush. And I'm gonna blend. Totally look bronzy, but not too dark. And then I'm gonna go in with the full fantasy blush from Litter Beauty in Laura Lee Los Angeles. I mix Peachy Keen, Pink Blossom, and then go back into Peachy Clean, tap off. And that's like been my ideal blush. So peachy, pink, peachy. Fun. This side definitely still looks a little bit more tan. I'm going to blend a little bit more. Okay, and then for highlighter, I'm still going to use the same palette. I'm going to use Gold Fantasy and New Champagne go on my nose, my cheekbones. That might be a little much, but it's okay. We're going to keep it, so I'm going to try to blend that in my zone. Okay, got that done. Now, Now I'm gonna do my brows. So I use the Wet n Wild Retractable Bolt Brow Pencil in 626A. This is Ash Brown. I think 626, I think of Stitch. Um, it's definitely like a waxy pencil, but it's like, I think it's $2.99 now, or is it $3.99? I forget, it went up, it used to be like a $1.99, and then it went up a little bit. Is this pencil's also making her debut. She's like, I'm gonna pop through your foundation, and I'm like, you do that. Um, we draw on most of my brows because they got over waxed in 2016 and I have only gotten my brows done once since 2016 and the rest are there. I mean obviously I pluck any like a stray hairs that clearly do not belong but they are were definitely over waxed in 2016 um and there's really nothing that can be done now um so now I go in with the Animal Kingdom Ulta Beauty one I use this shade here I don't know its name because they the things that said the name were like a plastic insert um and then I go back over my brows just to fill in any spots that the wax pencil does not go because the wax pencil goes on great when you have no no other makeup on but when you start having like foundation and stuff it doesn't want to stick to it but you know that's what we get for like a three dollar four dollar brow pencil I went to their five dollars Great though, but we definitely want a little bit lower with our brows, so we'll fix that. We can fix the brow, oopsies. Going with the spoolie on this side. It's fine, and I also use concealer for doing my eye makeup, so we're fine. Sometimes I will go back in with the pencil and do a little touch up. I think they're looking good right now. Okay, now for eyes. We're gonna use this concealer. I'm definitely running out, so I will need to get another one. I should put this all over my eyes. I'm almost feeling like should be doing a red lip. I have a red lip in my backpack. Hmm. I 
This vlog is also going to be long just based on this get ready with me. Okay. Um, now I'm going to use a mix of fairy well and this Jason Wu one. I went in neutral. I do have some glitters. So we're going to go with, I think I'm going to start with this one just for the crease color. So I'm going to take this brush, dip it off, dip it into this light shade here. I think I need to find another one of these because I'm hitting pan on set little shades. Go right into the crease. We just blend, blend, blend. Go back and forth. Blend, blend, blend. And then... Okay, I'm gonna get dip into this one and use the shade Fairy Kin. It's this shade. This might be a little too neutrally. Cool tone, but we'll find out. This is gonna go the outer half. Actually, no, that works. I just... Color pop eyeshadows just like go on so nicely and it blends so nicely as too okay and then I'm gonna go into think flower crown in the outer more corner like right here yeah it's darker just deepen that up and then I'm going to take Pond, which is this like warmy brown, from like a cinnamon color, and go outer corner and down. Bring some of that warmth back in, outer corner and down. And then I'm going to use, I take it a new, an Ulta Play to get this NYX. Glow Sticks, ultimate, oh, ultimate Glow Sticks in shade Golden Goji. Like, I guess it's like a Goji pair. Um, I'm just gonna slap this on. Oh, she is very metallic. Um, So, but it's because it's at an angle, it's definitely getting stuck in the stopper a little bit. But it is a pretty color. I was looking for more of a gold. I honestly, I should have found the Steeler section at Ulta and gotten one of those because Steeler ones never disappoint. Because Elf has like dupes of the Steeler ones, but they were just too like gold, gold. I wanted like a light gold, like more of like a, I guess like a champagne color. I have this one, but this is more of like a white, which I guess we can try. It's like a... This is more of like a silver champagne. Not like a gold champagne. I know there's probably some people who are like, what's the difference? There's a difference. <laughs> and you can't see my mouth of ring. There's like that other gold glitters that we can go in with too. Just wanted like a base one. Because we want gold and glittery and fun because we are going very neutral. Okay, now I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take, what's this? Fawn Guy, it's this gold glitter shade right here. And just start like pressing that on. The eye. And I do think, you know, there's not a lot of it left. This Jason Wu Cosmetics one, there's a gold here. I'm going to try and get some of that out. And also put that glitter on. Do need to redo the outer corner and blend the glitter. So we're going to take this brush and just kind of like go back. Maybe I will go in with that uh, pond color and like kind of just like dust it in. Is this the palette that has the shade called Folklore? No, it has, yeah, Willow and Folklore. Um, they're darker. 
and folklore willow they're pretty they definitely honestly match the vibes of taylor um might use actually take this one and go in with willow get that a little bit of bronzy i was like this dress looks like the bronze folklore dress not folklore evermore what am i talking about i'm confusing the two I guess I can associate with them at the same time because I did. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with Wood Nymph. This is like a champagne color. Go in the inner corner. Go in up. And maybe a little bit of Pixie Perf in the innermost corner. Yeah. She brightens up, hold it up. And just maybe I will take a little bit of folklore, which is like a deep ready brown, and kind of like deep in the corner, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's the move. And then name one of the palettes that has a mirror because there was an eyelash color. Oh, I see. You take the eyelash color. Oh, this video is going to be, you know, this get it right with me is just going to be a bonus vlogmas because it's 16 minutes on its own. Um, <laughs> or maybe I'll split today's vlogmas into two parts. Get ready with me. We'll go up to today and then um, for tomorrow and then today's vlog will be Monday. Gives me a little bit of extra content because this is a long video on its own and it's doing my whole makeup um and i didn't make this just to get ready with me for vlogmas okay mascara using a bad gal by ben bang benefit in the waterproof one so it holds the curl better does it make it impossible to get off yes that's fine Honestly, I might reuse this makeup look for a holiday party next week. But I'll maybe make that a little bit more smoky because that'll be in the evening. Or this is it's working for both day and night. Just watch the clock go 1818. That's fun. If you ever wondered what I film on, I film on my phone and the I iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's what I film all my videos on. So the eyes are done. My little chin spot is coming through. Maybe, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take the concealer. I'm gonna go back in with some more powder. Just to hide that out a little bit. I'm gonna take my pinky finger because it's not covered in glitter. And kind of like blend it around the edges. And then I'm gonna go back in with some powder. And I'm just gonna pack that on. just to that does look very good in comparison maybe I do need maybe I should have done this with the this one this is a fun joy when you have a pimple and you're trying to like hide it 
I'm just gonna dab it slightly. And then go back into the color. Yeah, that works. Okay. And now, I'm going to go with a neutral for now for lips. I do have a red that I might commit to in a little bit. I'm neutral, which I do feel like I should commit to the red lip. But that sounds serious, so I might have to wait just a little bit. Um, I think it's some um, other things I need um, white eyeliner, which will be for more fun looks. Lip balm, my birthday. Big gift. And I got some gems, which I was originally feeling. I don't know if I want to add gems to this if I'm going to do a red lip. So I think we're just going to leave it as is. And this is the end of this Get Ready With Me video. And there will be a vlog part of today's adventures for Vlogmas. A vlog part of Vlogmas Day 9. But this is going to be Vlogmas Day 9 content. So if you want to see the part 2, you'll have to come back tomorrow. I'll see what all I did at Hollywood Studios. Bye!